all right so there is going to be a, a lot going on in this video i purchased a hp prime for 25 dollars on ebay it was listed for parts because the calculator would not fully boot you know it would go into boot loop i really haven't been that lucky with hp calculators uh, that do that i as a matter of fact i have three broken primes right now and one goes into boot loop and the other two just uh you know they just they would not boot at all they would this screen would just flash and then just goes off Okay, so I only spent $25 on this one, uh, shipping included. So even if it doesn't work, I can always uh, recycle some of the parts. It has uh, a case, uh, the, slot, the sliding cover, and it also has uh, a backup, uh, not a backup, a battery cover. And uh, I can use those for my HP Prime Gen 1 Revision C, which does not have any uh, slot cover, nor does it have uh, a battery cover. So I just, uh, you know, remove uh, the address, my address and the shipper, or I mean the sender's address. So let's see what we got. Okay, so the reason why you are seeing this computer is because I'm going to flash a firmware on this. So we'll see. Okay. I also want to mention that uh, I'm doing this in a virtual machine. It should be working just fine. The reason why I haven't done it or I'm not doing it on my desktop is because I have so many folders it's going to be a mess you know so the virtual machine at least uh, the desktop look, looks uh, clean here okay so this is the prime it didn't come with anything else just uh, the calculator you know no charging no charger and I asked the guy if he tried to flash it so apparently he doesn't know anything about calculators and uh, wow this is actually brand new bro <laughs> I knew it was uh, in good shape, but I did not know it was going to be in this uh, in this kind of shape. It's almost in perfect con condition. Okay, so let's go and turn it on. Obviously, nothing happens, so it looks like uh, it's not charging. There should be some battery in it though, because at least it, 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 look, it looks kind of heavy. So I also have uh, this cable right here. This cable came with my uh, HP G2 Prime G2, so it is uh, a U mi mi micro USB. Type A to micro USB, so I'm just gonna plug this into my computer. And like I said, I'm using this uh, in a virtual machine, so I'm probably gonna have to adjust some settings. Uh, let's see, mm, I'm gonna exit the full screen mode and plug this in to see if uh, we get any luck. Okay, so when I plug the cable in, it just flash. So it just keeps doing this so that is definitely not good so it looks like uh i have no idea okay so you cannot you, let me just adjust this cell phone so you can see slightly better there you go it's much nicer okay so so when a calculator does this one thing we can do is uh we're gonna try to get into recovery mode so you can do that by pressing uh the uh this reset uh, uh, thing right here, the hole, you can put uh, something in, in that hole and then uh, hold the, I think the escape or the same key. I'm about to find out right now. Let me grab something. Okay, so you can do this with anything that is small enough. I got a paper clip. I also have a this pin right here. You can even use uh, the same ejector too. So I'm just going to use the paper clip for this. So I'm going to put this in the hole and press the same key while holding it. So nothing happens. So let me plug plug it again so you see there is a uh, some money flash then okay so there you go so I just press uh, the same key and I wasn't even uh, uh, I wasn't even uh, putting this in the hole, so I just pressed the same key and it took me to recovery. Okay, so okay, so this cable is kind of messing up. That's not really the cable; it's uh, the charging port on HP calculators. They are losing, so we gotta be really careful. So it should be connected now. Let me check, make sure it is connected to my computer. So this is my host computer, and uh, what I'm going to do in my virtual box, I'm going to go to USB and uh, mount this HP calculator right here, and. Uh, it should disconnect and connect to the virtual machine i think let me just double check okay 
failed to attach the USB device to the virtual machine. Okay, that is fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, okay, it's because I wanted to show you exactly what to do if you want to install uh, the connectivity key. So I guess I, I would have no other choice but to uh, do on my uh, host computer. So yeah, so this is what I was talking about. My my host computer is a complete mess. You know, you have uh, all these uh, stuff here. Okay, so um, let me uh, uninstall the connectivity key. I'm just gonna uh, do this as if this is if this is your very first time. So this is what you wanna do. Something I also noticed with the connectivity key, the ones online are not really working. So I've downloaded this back in 2020, a long time ago, and uh, you know I kept it. And this is the only one that works for some reasons. The new ones, if you install them on your computer, they just uh, freeze. So that is weird. So let me just go to my program first. And uh, connectivity key, what are you at? Okay, HP connectivity key. I'm just gonna uninstall it first. So I'm gonna close this one. And uh, I'm gonna reinstall it again. And so I agree, install, yes, accept everything. Okay, so it was uh, installed successfully. So close this. And we already have the calculator connected. So you can leave the calculator connected. Isn't there really isn't any rocket science behind that? So what I'm going to do, I can just leave the calculator connected and I'm gonna open the connectivity program. So here you can open it. And if you open it for the first time, then you are going to be uh, presented to this page. It's gonna ask you to upgrade the firmware to this calculator. So we're not gonna do that just yet. Okay, actually, we're probably gonna have to do that because it is asking, okay, so let me not get ahead of myself. Okay, so ignore everything I just said. So I'm just gonna do not now because I don't wanna update, I don't wanna upgrade the connectivity key. Okay. So when you install the connectivity key, program then it should already have it should download automatically the firmware for hp prime g1 and g2 it should do that by itself if it doesn't do that then there is a way you can do it so first i'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade update the calculator press yes and uh let's see waiting to start okay so it is updating the calculator and uh it is also, you can see on the screen, it is pro uh, progressing. So that is a good sign. At least uh, we know the charging port on the calculator is good. That's always a good sign. So everything went through just fine. So yeah, that was really quick. So the calculator is going to start and reset. Unfortunately, I'm not getting any action here. I'm not going, any, I'm not getting any uh, positive sign. The calculator is just uh, resetting itself. Okay, so I just press the on key and uh, let's hope it. Okay, so I'll be damned. So there you go. So all I had to do was uh, install the firmware. I believe the reason why it is doing this is probably because the battery in the calculator is either dead. So let's let's just try to set it up. So this is the welcome screen. English. Okay. I'm just gonna, for the purpose, I'm just gonna leave everything default. What do you know? So I have a perfectly working HP calculator now. So the reason why it keeps resetting, that's because the battery is probably dead or it is missing uh, a battery. So I'm just gonna open it up and uh, see what else I can do. The reason why it didn't ask me to uh, install the firmware of the, uh, or to download the firmware files of this calculator is probably because I already had a uh, folder in my comp on my computer. So if I go to uh, file, Actually, that's not okay. If I go to help and check for update, it's not gonna show me uh, to. It's not gonna show me any update for the uh, for uh, Prime G1 or G2. So I'm not. I'm gonna click not now. And I'm gonna if I go uh, to my folders. Let's see, PC. I'm gonna navigate to the to where the connectivity files would be at. So if I go to program file, should be uh, okay. Let me just unplug this calculator for now. Uh, connectivity okay so it's not here uh, it could be on the document again my videos are not scripted so I'm just uh, trying to figure this out okay so it's gonna be on the document so HP connectivity key that's the default location so if you go to firmware so this is where the firmware will be at so I'm just gonna delete this and uh, show you what's gonna happen so I'm just gonna delete both files and uh, you know minimize this you know why not 
Okay, so now if I go to help, so this is what you, you can do if you go to help, if you just set up your connectivity key, your connectivity key program, I mean, you just install your connectivity key program and you don't have uh, the files required to upgrade your calculator, then you just go to uh, help and uh, check for update. And there you go. It's going to show you all these files here. Okay, so if you click OK, it's going to download all these files. Okay, so it's going to download the firmware for, H for the Prime G1, the firmware for Prime G2. Okay, so this is for the G1, this is for G2, and this is uh, to upgrade the software itself. So press OK. Okay, it's gonna do the download. Oh, so this is the EX, this is the connectivity kit app. This is the last one. So it's gonna ask you to update to update your software. Then you don't wanna do that. Okay, like I said, this if I upgrade my software, it doesn't work. So I, I just keep using the old one. So okay, that is fine. Okay, and close this. And now you can just uh, if we go back to the document folder, then we have uh, all the firmware back. And uh, the next step would be just uh, plug your calculator into the computer. Once you, uh, once you plug the calculator to the computer, you know, just reopen. If the connectivity app was already open, just close it, connect it, your calculator to the computer, and uh, go into recovery mode. Okay, so that is if the calculator is dead. But if uh, the calculator is fully working, like uh, you, you just seen mine right here, if my calculator was fully uh, functional, then uh, you can just uh, plug into the, to the, to the computer. You don't have to do anything else. Plug into the computer, open up the connectivity key program, and uh, just wait for my, maybe, three to five seconds, then the connectivity key is going to detect the calculator and it's gonna prompt you to update the software or the firmware. That's all you have to do. Okay, so I hope everything I just said made sense. So now, uh, let's uh, put this computer aside. Okay, so now let's open up the calculator and see why it keeps, uh, why it keeps uh, rebooting. So I'm gonna use uh, a Philip, uh, Philips uh, Zero. Uh, drive okay <laughs> to be honest I wasn't really uh, I was really uh, skeptical about this calculator working because like I said I haven't been that lucky with HP calculators so I'm just going to use a small Philips drive okay, let me adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing Okay. This is much better. And these screws are black, so you probably want to keep track of them because you don't want to lose them. And I really hope it's just going to be a battery issue. Uh, if that is the case, then uh, we would be lucky. Okay. So these things already seems to have a battery. So why it wouldn't work, that I don't know. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring uh, the battery for my... Uh, of the prime and see if uh, that is going to help okay so i am back with uh, my prime uh revision c this is gen 1 as well revision c you can tell you know uh, revision c and a have different key colors okay so i'm gonna turn this on just to show you that it works just fine okay and this is actually using a, a galaxy s3 battery and it is missing the back cover so i'm gonna use that battery and see if i'm going to get lucky if the battery works, then uh, that means I would just need uh, a new battery. If it doesn't work, then uh, that means the calculator has uh, some more problems. So I'm just gonna, I can only hope. Put the battery here. And uh, what do you know? So this one seems to be working just fine. So I guess. <laughs> This is uh, this all I had to do, and uh, it is running the latest uh, firmware, as you can see. That's the one with the Python operating system. And let's see if this one crashes as well. So with my uh, revision A, if I go to Python, press Sim and Escape, the calculator reset itself. <laughs> so this one does it as well. That is kind of funny. Okay. So everything seems to be working just fine. Let's test the keys. Yeah. So right on. Let's touch this. Let's. Yeah, the touch one already did that. Let's do a quick graph. X to the power of three. Mm, let's do a square root of X. Let's also do an absolute value. What is the absolute? Okay, I don't wanna look for that. Uh, it could be here. Uh, nah, this should do it. There you go. All right, let's check the memory. Uh, shift. Can you, oh my bad. 
I didn't even know you couldn't see that. So it's kind of uh, bright. Mm, let's go to program. We, we don't have anything because I probably pretty much did a fast reset when I, I flashed the firmware. I don't know if I did it, but eh, it is what it is. Okay, so I don't even know if this battery is bad. It shouldn't be bad though. I wouldn't think the battery is bad. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Maybe because this is the original battery. It is a 1500, only 1500 milliampere. So I'm going to put that in here. So the battery on this one is not working. So what I can do, I can, uh, hmm. So now let me uh, plug this into the computer and see if uh, it's going to work. You never know. So I put the battery in a perfectly working calculator. One that it had never been inside before. And see if uh, that is going to make any difference. Let's just make sure we got power. <laughs> okay so yeah so everything should be fine and the battery shows fully charged which is not normal it shouldn't be fully charged because let's just uh close this okay now the battery seems to be charging and at one point you know i saw the uh flashing let me unplug it Okay, so I think there is a there's probably some issue with this battery, maybe, I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna give up on it just yet. So I'm gonna uh, turn the calculator off and uh, plug into uh, to the wall and let it charge for maybe two three hours and see if uh, that is going to make any difference. But uh, I guess that's it for this video. Now we know that the calculator is, per is perfectly working. So I'm probably gonna update you on whether the battery the battery works or not. But uh, yeah, this is the one I just uh, picked up, and as you can see, it is working just fine. Everything works fine. Turn it off, turn it back on. Yeah. So I only spent $25 on this Prime, and uh, worst case scenario, I would just have to buy a new battery, which is probably going to cost me less than $10. So now you know how to flash out your Prime. If you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section.